Welcome to the Niagara County SPCA. My name's Amy and I'm the Executive Director. We've been in our current building for about 30 years. The shelter itself was incorporated in 1894 and we're one of the longest continually running shelters on the Niagara Frontier. When I came here in 2012, we became a no-kill shelter which had a huge impact on the number of animals in the building. We literally have cats and dogs in, in every office and every room in our building. Right here, we have our laundry room. We have a dog that's uh, receiving a bath right now. Um, we have um, Lexi, who's um, a resident here in the laundry room. Um, it was too stressful for her in the kennels, and because of her skin condition, this was a nice place for her to heal. Hi, I'm Bob. I've worked at the SBCA now 40 years. I'm the shelter uh, maintenance and grounds manager, which means I have to try to make room for all these animals that we get in. We have a problem as far as the barking and the noise in the building because the animals are so concentrated. We had a four car garage that we've had to adapt into an isolation area for some of the cats that we get in. So after we became a no-kill shelter, there was a financial consequence. I'm not sitting at a desk that I have because there is no space for me here at the shelter. Um, we are so cramped. I work from home or I work out in the field. None of us are employed here because it's a, a great paycheck or anything. We're all here for a big fat love of animals. I'm Chris and I'm the Cat Room Volunteer Coordinator. Um, we need bigger cages, better cages for the cats. The small cages can create a lot of health issues. One of them is upper respiratory, URI. It can also create um, behavioral issues. Um, they don't have a lot of room to play and stretch. Um, their litter pans and their food and their water are basically on top of each other. I'm Christy and I'm a vet assistant here at the Niagara SPCA. I'm currently in school to be a veterinary technician. In 2013, we began renting a surgical trailer from another local shelter. We are so grateful for the opportunity, however, it does come with its challenges. Animals do have to be carried from inside the shelter, out into the trailer, and then back again after surgery. It's not an ideal situation for animals that are being recovering from surgery to be out exposed to the elements. We're very limited on space here in the shelter. We have one room that we use as a multi-purpose room, and a lot of times we have to share it with other activities here in the shelter. We've done so much work in the community, setting up spay and neuter programs in the community. I really like volunteering with my mom because it's something that we can do together, and it's just really fun to do it. With we really friends. think that you should select us. We do so much here with so little. We have so many compassionate individuals who are dedicated to our cause. Please, we need you to rescue us.